Alright, it's 3.05 in the morning and I just messed this video up twice. Alright, uh, we're going to talk about probability of independent events. I'm on the right topic this time. Last time I chose the wrong topic in Alex and I didn't even realize it. So, um, here's what we have to do. Of the people who fished at Clearwater State Park today, 21 had a fishing license, 9 did not. Of the people who fished at Mountain View, uh, 14 had a license, 6 did not, and nobody fished at both parks. Suppose one fisher from each park is chosen at random. So we go to one park, we choose uh, a fisher person. We uh, go to another park, we choose a fisher person, and they want to know what is the probability that the fisher chosen from Clearwater did not have a license and the fisher chosen from Mountain View did have a license. Well, this is pretty straightforward. Um, they want to know, I'm going to let um, C equal at Clearwater, Clearwater with license, whoops, license, um, I'm going to let M equal at Mountain View with a license okay so what they're asking for here is the probability of not C so that they were at Clearwater without a license and M well because these are independent events right the the person the Fisher person taken from the one park is independent um, from the person chosen at the other okay they have no relation um, so, what's P of um, not C and M? Well, it's the product of these two. So, first thing we got to figure out is this, and that's easy to figure out because it's you can either take P of C and subtract it from one, or you can just look at the nine who did not out of twenty-one plus nine, which is thirty. So you get. Um, P of C not is 9 over 30 which is 0.3 okay so this is 0.3 and P of M those are people who did at Mountain View and 14 did 14 out of 14 plus 6 which is 20 is 0.7 so we go this times 0.7 which is 0.21 is our answer so it's pretty straightforward let's go here we'll put in 0.21 do not round my answer and that's that so um, I'm going to hit more practice we'll do another one so at a local college 280 of male Male students are smokers, 560 are non-smokers. So we have a total of 800 males there. 30% are non-smokers, or are, are smokers, rather. Because 24 uh, divided by 80 is the same. That reduces to 3 out of 10, which is 30%. Of the female students, 280 are smokers and 420 are non-smokers. 280 plus 420 is 700, so we're looking at 40% are. A male student and a female student from the college are randomly selected. What is the probability that both are non-smokers? Once again, here we have independent events, so all we have to do is figure out the probability that a male student um, is a non-smoker and the female student is a non-smoker and multiply those two. So we look at the non-smoker. Um, stuff and here's non-smoker right 560 that's 70 percent uh, 420 that's 60 percent so we're doing 0 0.7 times 0 0.6 which is 0 0.42 is our answer and that's it very straightforward hopefully you won't have any trouble with that and that's it for this video